Hey guys, so this is HubSpot 101. I'm going to teach you how you can add your team in HubSpot. Um, basically, HubSpot has different rules or category. So if you just want a particular, let's say you, you hire a developer and they, you just want them to access your designer tools, then that is possible. You can limit the accessibility of that certain person. So yeah, I'm going to teach you how that works. Without further ado, one, two. To add and manage a user in HubSpot, simply click this gear icon on the top, click the Users and Teams section, and then click the Create User. So let's start first on creating a user, and then I'll jump in on um, configuring the settings in case you want that default user to be a super admin. So we will work on that later. So I will add our new member in here so you need to put in the email address and then the permission so if you already have a, a saved template for your role you can choose this one but i i don't think we have it i think the only rule that we all that we set up is just the super admin so we'll just use the default role and of course i also don't want to start from scratch so because most of the really the role of our of our team member are just similar so in case if the team member is super specific with the thing like for example developer like if you just want them to be act to access the file manager and the developer tools in hubspot you can use the start from scratch instead of the default role section okay next and then this one um these are like the standards so next and then yeah, so I'm going to use this one. So you have an options in here if you want to disabled and enabled um, a certain features in HubSpot. But we can always tweak that after. So don't send an email invite. Of course, I want to send an email invite. So this is what I'm trying to say here. Like if you want to set up a custom role, you can, you already created a template. You can um, create a custom role for you. So you don't need to, you know, um, always start from scratch. So primary team, they are under the court. Um, this person is under in the core teams. And then, yeah, so fly then click done. Now, if you want a specific, an existing account to be, um, let's say, a super admin. So, let's say I want to make my my existing email address a super admin. You can always tweak the permission by clicking the edit section or click the assign roles. And then I want it to be a super admin. And here, edit. Yeah, super admin. Um, I don't, we don't really, I don't really need the sales enterprise. I'm not on the sales department. I'm more into the technical, but if in case you want that email address to be, to access the sales features in HubSpot, you can enable this part here, but this will add extra money. So I, I don't really use this often. So uh, let's just keep that disabled. And yeah, by the way, on the team sections, if you want to add a label, simply click this theme sections in here, click this one. And this is just basically like a category of every users that you added in here. And on the role section, um, this is more into providing, like it's a, let's say I, I'm going to use sales, create a sales role so you can have you can enable this part in here and then disable the market um disable the crm section like yeah so but we're not really super big um most of the features that we only we use are are both similar so i don't think i need to add up more roles in here 